Hello everyone, we will continue the topic persistence class and in the previous video, we started with the creation of the program. We took the various parameters and we declared the object, one for CL class and another for CA class. Now we will start with our first database operation that is insert. And in this program, I will make use of various events also like start of selection, add selection screen, add selection screen output because we need to validate the input also. We need to, whenever I will click on to the execute button, we want to execute the logic. Now, after that, we will go for selection screen changes also. So in this program, I will make use of these events also. If you do not have the knowledge of these events, you can go to a BAP programming playlist and you can go for all these events also. So firstly, I will go for start of selection event because whenever I will click on to execute button, start of selection event will take. Then I will go for other events also, whenever we will validate the input. So firstly, I will write start of selection. Now firstly, we will go for insert database operation. Now, what is the radio button for insert database operation? It is P underscore R1. And we all know whenever one radio button is ticked, it means that radio button is true. That radio button is true. And what will be the value of that radio button if it is true? It is equal to capital X. So I will simply, simply write if P underscore R1 is equal to capital X. As we need to go for multiple database operations in the same program. So we need to divide the logic based upon the if conditions. So if first radio button is capital X, we will go for insert database operation. Now we will simply go for these classes now and we will check which method we need to use to go for insert database operation. Because now we are not going for insert, update, delete, modify commands. No, everything will be with the help of these classes only. Now, if I will go for this class firstly, an important learning, huge amount of learning will be there. I will go for first class, suppose, CL class, which we create. If we see this class, we have the getter methods, we have the setter methods, getter and setter methods. Now, what is our requirement? We want to go for insert database operation into order header table. It means we will go for new record. We will insert a new record into that database table. Just see this table. Whenever we want to insert a new record into this database table, it means firstly we need to insert order number. Yes, because order number is the primary key. Without primary key, there is no significance of inserting a record. Suppose simply if I am a part of any organization, there is no significance of my name, age, something. If my employee ID is not there, firstly my employee ID should be in the organization. Same thing is here. If I want to insert a record, First thing, I need to insert a order number. Then I can go for order date, payment mode, total amount, currency. First thing, order number is compulsory. New order number, not existing order number. If I will go to order header table, I cannot go for these order numbers which are already present. 
because we are going for inserting a new order number, new order number. Suppose if I will see this particular methods, there is no such method available into this CL class to insert a order number, to insert a primary key. We have the getter methods. We have a get method for order number. There is no such method with for the order number because first thing we need to create order number. Then we can go for currency, total amount, payment mode, whatever the non-primary keys are there. You see in this class, there is no such method which will help us to insert a new order number. It means we need to go for which particular class we need to go for agent class or actor class. So now I will go for actor class or agent class. So this is our actor class or agent class. I will just scroll down this particular class. Now if I will scroll down this particular class, in this class we have a method create underscore persistent. If I will scroll down, in this class, we have a method create underscore persistent and description itself is saying, you will go for generation of a new object with key, with key. It means, yes, this is our requirement. We are going for a new order number, new unique key. So we will simply, simply use this method. And once you go to parameters, you will get 100% clarity. If I will go for create underscore persistent and I will go for parameters, just see what is the input parameter, what is the input parameter order number, order number. So we will simply, simply pass the unique order number, unique order number. And it is clearly saying description business key, business key. And now you will get more, more clarity. Once I will call this method create underscore persistent and I will pass the order number, it will give me, it will give me the object of which particular class C L class. Just see how the hierarchy is we are calling a method of CA class, actor class or agent class. We are passing the order number, unique order number, new order number we will pass. Whenever we will pass the order number, it will give me the object of my CL class. Once I have the order number, can I go for other things if I will show you CL class? Now I have the object of CL class. I will open CL class. Very, very important to understand. Anyways, once practical will be there, it will give you more, more. Once I have the order number, once the order number is created, I got the object of CL class. Once I got the object of CL class, I will set the currency, I will set the order date, I will set the payment mode and I will set the total amount. Just so see how we are doing. Firstly, we are creating a order number by using which particular method of CA class create underscore persistent method. Then we will set the various things by using the methods of which class CL. So whenever I will go for CA, it will return me the object of CL and then I will call these particular methods. Now I will go for the system and I will use these particular methods. Now I will go to the system. Now firstly, we need to call which particular method create underscore persistent of which particular class agent class. I will go to pattern. I will go to a path 
object patterns and now what is your instance of agent class allo underscore agent and what is our class zca underscore order underscore header now we will simply simply use the method i will go to the method create underscore persistent description itself is saying it will create a new object new key i'll just do control z i will put the cursor here so that the code will be here i will go to a map object patterns yes enter now never forgot to uncomment the try and catch block because if some error is there at least runtime error will not come now whatever the order number you are passing from the screen we will pass here and you can see just now few minutes back i showed you i underscore o n o is importing there is it is importing i underscore o n o so here it is treating as exporting because from the program we will export the value now sap will create a unique order number and in the result it will return what it will return what if i will double click you can see it is returning me the object of cl class cl class cl and what is the object of your cl class you already declared allo underscore object allo underscore object now we have the object of the cl class we have the order number can we set the other things on to that order number yes we can set the other things on to that order number means we will go for currency total amount we will go for our payment mode order date we will go for all these things very very important topic and understanding i will go to pattern i will go to a path object patterns now i will go for cl class what is our cl class object allo underscore object it is cl said cl underscore order header now firstly i will set the order date firstly i will set the order date okay never forgot to uncomment the try and catch block now your order date is coming from the screen this is our order date so on to this particular order number we will set the order date we are using the object to set the order date now we will go for payment mode total amount and currency order date similarly we will go for payment mode and what is the input what is the parameter for payment mode p underscore pm and if you go to all these methods if i will show you these methods set underscore currency you can see i underscore cur is importing here it means it will treat as exporting here if i will go for your suppose as of now we used order date this method if i will go to parameters it is acting as importing so from the program it is exporting now i will go for other things also pattern a map object patterns now i will simply simply use set underscore total amount and what is the parameter for total amount 
P underscore T. Because whatever we are passing from the screen, we are creating with same to same. Now I will go to fourth. That is currency. And what is the parameter for the, for the currency which we have taken? P underscore cur. P underscore cur. I will just check the syntax up to this level and I will activate. So what is the summary of this particular video? We cover so many important things Firstly, we want to go for insert database operation. So I put first radio button as capital X. Most important thing, whenever you are going for insert database operation, it means you are inserting a record. Whenever you want to insert a record without primary field, there is no existence of non-primary key field. So what is our primary key? Order number. So firstly, we need to go for order number, then other things. So we simply searched into CL class. In CL class, there is no such method to go for order number or to insert a new record. So we simply went to which class? CA class. In CA class, we have a method create underscore persistent and yes, it is creating a new object. New object means in our case, it is order number. Yes. Now, whenever we check for the parameter 100% clarity, we are passing the order number. It will give us the object of CL class. And what is the object of CL class in our program? And no object. Once we have the object, we call the various methods of the CL class. We are setting the order date, payment mode, total amount and currency for that particular order number. Because once you will pass the order number, you will get the object and you are using that object to set the other things. Now the most important part will come in the next video. We are calling create underscore persistent method. Create underscore persistence is a instance method. Instance method. It is a instance method. If we have a instance method, object is compulsory. Object creation is compulsory. Have we created this object? No, we have not created this object. So as of now, this program will throw a runtime error. Once this method will execute, the object of CL will create, then they will not go with the runtime error. The main thing is how, how I can create an object of the agent class or actor class. That is extremely important and that will be covered in the next video. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.